would you describe your third period in terms of, was that sort of a patient controlled approach to try and let things happen rather than making them happen? Yeah, uh, we were pretty patient. Uh, maybe we sat back a little too much, but at the end of the day, you know, I thought it was a course game overall. Uh, not a whole lot of penalties. You know, both teams had some good chances to, to win that game. But, you know, it comes down to small details in our game. And, Pull one out after a big save by Vassy, you know, to and point So, uh, you know, it's, it's a process and you know, it's still early on in the year. But uh, get much of points like this. Uh, how, how do you guys feel when you see Braden with that much time and space in a situation like that? Yeah, it's better than having me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, try to go to the backhand, but it didn't really work. So, you know, I'll give that to the, to the specialists uh, in decisions like that, if, you know. More, more often than not, it's going to end up in the back of the net. So, great move by him and big two points for us. You said 5 0 2 in the last seven games, and you probably still feel you haven't played your best yet? No, I hope not. Uh, you know, still very long in the year, like I said. But, you know, you look at the, you know, th the things uh, where we've been going, um, you know, especially power play wise, uh, it'll be 5 0 2 is so a strong statement, I think. And uh, there's still a lot of things that we can. Always improve on, but you know, points in, in seven straight and one five of them. Uh, that's a good pace if you want to make the playoffs. So, uh, you know, that's obviously uh, something I'm very happy with. Yeah. You, you mentioned that, that last save in, in overtime with Vasquez. You made a lot of big ones in the third period, too, but you know, in overtime when it's that wide open, how big is, is that save that he makes there? No, it's huge. The game, it's a uh, momentum swinger, obviously. And, uh, you know, we, we've seen and done those before, but you know, not, not in the last. Doesn't make it any less impressive than that. So, huge save source and a uh, big goal, uh, obviously, as you she said just there. How much did getting, you know, Bogosian back, Sergeyev back, kind of settle things down on the back end for you guys? Yeah, I mean, you lose Sharnak too, so it's kind of one of those things you, you got to battle through. And Bowie hasn't played in a while, but I thought he played great. Um, you know, stayed patient in this game and made the easy plays and, you know, played a lot of minutes. So, you know, Sergey, we know we're going to get out of Sergey. You know, it's just good to have guys back, but you know, I'm very happy with the way we we, we cope without without them. You know, guys have stepped up, played good. You know, Freddie and Cal, you know, playing a lot of games, so uh, we're very happy with them. We play yeah. Carolina and then playing Florida. How much of a difference is it between those two teams? Yeah, it's different, but at the same time, they're they're you know, always a you know, yeah. top leagues, top teams in, in this league. Play a little bit different style, but you know, I got a lot of skill up front. And you know, Carolina is probably more shooting mentality kind of team, and Florida is more possession. And I uh, like to find, you know, if you give them time and space, they, they're going to make you pay. So, uh, you know, two different teams, but you know, high flying and got a lot of skill up front that uh, makes it tough. But uh, you know, we've seen them a lot. I think someone said before we played Florida 19 times in, in this calendar year, so I think we know, uh, know them very well. We, we don't see Braden get into fights too often, but he seems like when he does, he really has some pent up energy that he kind of puts puts into it. I mean, how much does that? You know, how much do you see that and kind of you see that emotion come out of him? No, you've, you've seen that a few times, like you said. But uh, you know, point is, he's an emotional player. Uh, I think the more the more mad he is, the better he plays. So uh, you know, he's not going to back down from anything. And, you know, so he's a world class player. Physical, you know, getting into scrums doesn't matter what it is, but you know, he's, he's one of those guys that uh, you know, I think uh, you know, really thrive when, when there's a lot on the line and it gets a little more emotional. And you know, it's not a, it's not a coincidence, he gets that uh, when you're going in. How much do you like games where there's flow like there was tonight? The Carolina game, there was a lot of penalties, mm -hmm. kind of disrupted a lot of flow, but there weren't that many called tonight. And, you know, both teams really kind of played in the, into a good flow. Yeah, I like that, it's good. Uh, you know, you get a little bit more. Even out the uh, guys' time as well, and uh, you know, guys don't sit too long on the bench, so it kind of helps everyone. So yeah, it's always nice to, to get that flow in the game. But you know, you're gonna turn down a few more power plays, but at the end of the day, you lose the same old plays. And, you know, we're always happy with the two points. Thank you. Thanks, Eddie.